everybody, Billy from Mutation Creation. Today's video, we got two clutches that we're gonna do an update on. And uh, first, like always, I wanna give a huge shout out to, oh shit, I don't have a shirt. This guy doesn't even give me a shirt. Ah, I guess the only other way to shout the guy out is, you know, hand it over to Austin for YouTube channel shout out of the week. So for this week, we have no other than Miguel Garcia from Always Evolving Pythons. If you're not already checking him out, go follow him on Instagram and YouTube, Always Evolving Pythons. Great guy, he just doesn't like to send out shirts for some reason. I don't really know, but he has some really good content, always posting videos, hatching some really cool snakes. So definitely go and check him out. Someone that does give out shirts that I can give a shout out to, Precious Pythons, pure royalty. Okay, we got King Austin, Lord of Lion, High caliber again, man. It's okay. What about I you? I like this shirt. It's a sick shirt, man. What about you? KR Reptiles. Belgium. And that's Belgium slacking on the back? I think they are. No, they're not. Oh, they're not? No. They're not, they're not Canadian, remember? Oh, yeah, Neither from is this person. This, ready? They have you see? a really nice snake to it. Yeah, you see, how, you see how beautiful this is and so elegant and so royal? Look at the back. So mm. sick. Precious. Precious pythons. Instagram, YouTube, go give her a follow. Precious pythons. So, let's get right into it. Um, I'm looking for scissors. I don't, they're already out of the egg. Yeah. Don't cut them, snakes. Yeah, I don't need to cut them. I'm just so happy when I cut eggs. It's like, oh. So this here is a yellow belly het pied female, and she was bred to an asphalt het pied female. Nothing crazy, but we did. We got some pretty good odds. So we hit a freeway. So because it was het to het. It's gonna be 66% het pied. I really like that solid long stripe at the back. So this is like the road where you can pass. When it's a solid line, you can't pass. So this is pretty cool. Pretty neat. So freeway, 66% het pied. Then here, we have an asphalt slash yellow belly pied. Here's another one, asphalt slash yellow belly pied. Now I want to just point out, see the difference? See how this lo almost looks enchy? But it's not. See how it has a lot of oranges? This is just a normal. But if you look, it doesn't look like a normal. It almost looks enchy. No enchy in the pairing at all. But all this banding, lots of orange. Here's another, this one here. Or is this the asphalt? No, this is probably the asphalt. A little darker, but look at the pattern on it. It's, it's really weird. I think um, this came, so the male, which is an asphalt, 100% het for pied. And um, we, we've been hatching stuff out years ago, probably about two years ago. In 2018, Austin's like, hey man, it looks like Enchi, but it's not because here's the pairing. But he's like, yeah, something's going on with that asphalt het pied. Never thought anything of it. Well, we're seeing it now and we think we have the new gene, but what's really crazy. Okay, look at this. Like, look at the difference between, I'm not really sure what's going on, but this does not look like a normal or an asphalt. Something's definitely going on. We got a lot of it. We got it in the Dreamsicle project. We've got it in the asphalt. Not really sure, but definitely not just a regular asphalt slash yellow belly pied. I don't even see... I don't even know if that is asphalt yellow belly. This here is an asphalt slash yellow belly. So is this one here, but this could be. So if, if you look at the two here, this is what I uh, is a yellow belly slash asphalt pied. And this here is an asphalt slash yellow belly pied with the new gene. And then you just take this without the yellow belly. Mm -hmm. That's just, that's, that's not a regular pied. There's no way that's just a regular pied. So, asphalt slash yellow belly pied. 
asphalt slash yellow belly pied with the new jean and this is a pied with the new jean and we've had it in the collection for about since well as far as we can go back right now 2016 i'm trying to find out the uh i don't have the adults so i'm looking through parents um through the breedings of how i created the asphalt het pied back in 2016 um just crazy like definitely not a normal it almost looks enchy but it's not so really crazy super happy with it we, we got a lot of stuff we still haven't figured it out we don't have a name for it yet we don't know if it's a super but we definitely have it floating throughout and it's funny because i mean austin it's about two years ago you sure there was no entry in the pairing i'm like i, I know that because um, i actually have the cards no entry in the pairing but it doesn't look like a normal and he started looking back at the mail when we started hatching stuff out even last year like man look at this thing like it's throwing some weird stuff look at the colors and then we go back and look at the parents and we're always stumped on the mail. Well, now I think we know what's going on. We just have to find out how it's going on. So that being said, we actually are going to do another uh, video uh, probably very soon with a bunch of different um, animals that have the gene compared to that don't have it. And sort of, you know, we don't really have a story behind it yet, where it came from or how long we've had it. But I know we've had it since at least 2016. Uh, now that the animals have, have been breeding more, we have a lot more to look at um, and a lot of photos to look at. So we'll do a video explaining it. And who knows? We might even have a, we might even have a name for the gene. Who knows? Um, this here, this here's a good clutch. I'm, I'm really happy. Actually, I can show you the female. So we've shown this before. This is a pewter clown. This is the mother. Nice year eight. So, pewter clown female, and she was bred to an Enchi Asphalt Het Clown male. Super happy with the results. Um, this is the only one that hasn't shed. So this here, everything is going to be visual clown or Het Clown. This here is a pastel Enchi Het Clown. In shed it's the last one to shed so there's that we'll go here this is an asphalt 100% heck clown little head shy there we go so asphalt heck clown let's get into some of the good stuff and then hit five visual clowns really really happy um, we'll start here Enchi, probable asphalt, clown, not sure, but it's definitely minimum an Enchi clown, but the color of the head stab, look at that, really cool. See the color in the dorsal, it's almost like a red burgundy, hopefully that uh, after, you know, a couple more sheds, that'll get orangier. Um, we'll go here next. This here, Cinnamon Enchi Clown. Possible Asphalt. Really cool head stamps on these. <clears throat> and Cinnamon and Enchi are allelic. Correct. So you can never make a normal with this animal. So, that's that. Not sure about the Asphalt. You never know. We can go here. Now, I can pretty much guarantee the asphalt's in this. This is a pewter. So pastel, cinnamon, asphalt clown. So this looks nothing like the mum. The only difference is the asphalt. Really awesome. Love the pattern. It has that, where is that little, there it is. Has a little golden paradox. But really stunning. She's staying here. Actually, pretty sure it's a she. It's a she, so she's staying here for sure. So when you take this animal here and add pastel, or you take this animal here and add Enchi, you get 
pastel, enchi, cinnamon, probable asphalt, I would say definitely, clown. Pastel, enchi, cinnamon, asphalt, clown. So nice. Look at the head. Things glowing. And this, I believe, I want to say male. Nope, female. She's staying. <laughs> and then the last two. Pastel Enchi. You can definitely see. I'm going to say that's a Pastel Enchi clown. And compared to this one, I'm going to say this is a Pastel Enchi asphalt clown. Would you agree? Opposite <clears throat> way? No Enchi. Oh, no, sorry. No Enchi in both. Did I say? You said Enchi. I mean, asphalt, sorry. Pastel asphalt. Pastel asphalt. So this here, pastel clown, Probably. no asphalt. I think there might be asphalt in both. The, the, and the reason why I'm saying that we've noticed, the teardrops mm -hmm. usually are open. So see how they're sealed? Well, those aren't, but most of them are sealed. Okay, if you look here, uh, it's so tough. But see how open, open, faint, faint, open, 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 open. I would, I would think this is the asphalt. Um, we're even here. See, that's tough. I don't even know. So, Might ready? For a few more shows. Two pastel clowns. Possible asphalt. Um, this one here has more spotting. I'm not sure. But that's the good part about it. I mean, even the heads are a little bit different. No idea. And that's the good part about it. Uh, and it's also hard. You want to get certain genes into some animals, and you do when you hit. We don't really have much to compare. I haven't really done it um, before. So, still new. If they're both females, I'm definitely gonna hold them back. Uh, worst case scenario, if I do breed it and they turn out to be um, um, just regular, I'm gonna be putting something else in. Hopefully I have a super asphalt clown down the road. So, um, I'll definitely know what the clutch is after I hatch them. But really happy with the variety. Do one more little scan of the uh, I mean this here is just one of my favorites still we gotta highlight this girl pastel enchi cinnamon asphalt clown so really happy with the turnout got a lot of females lots gonna be uh a lot of them are going to be staying here in my rack growing up. Uh, looking forward to uh, working with all that inside the, uh, in, inside the clowns and the freeway clowns that I'm making. And hopefully super asphalt clowns down the road. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Keep the comments coming, up, coming in. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. See you next video.